You know, they haven't legalized it here, so, you know, people are a little edgy, you know, Washington, Colorado, they're chill, because they haven't legalized, but they haven't legalized it here yet. So when they do, you know, people will just be chilling and just having a good time. But anyway, uh, I think part of it, I think part of it, because this morning, uh, when I'm coming in, the, uh, the bouncer has got his arm in a sling. So I think people thought he was like soft, but he's got like a tranquilizer in there too. He's been, he's been hitting some people quietly. It's gotten quieter, but he's like, poof, poof. And they're carrying some people out. So it got a little quieter. Also, some people got tased too. You didn't hear that because the people, the, the noise level was loud. You didn't hear people out there, like, don't tase me, bro. <laughs> A couple of people got tased, man. You got to look around, man. See, you know, they'll ease up on you. You know, security don't play. They don't play at the good foot. They don't play at the good foot. Anyway, thank you for listening. I'm David Little, and uh, I'm black. As, uh, but that, car that carried more car currency last month, because last month was Black History Month. So they would have been quite, maybe out of respect for Black History Month. But this is Women's History Month, so I have some stuff for really. Ladies, uh, this is Mardi Gras Eve. So if you feel so inclined to share your uh, boobs with me, I'm ready. I'm, I'm prepared. You know, that, that, that'll, that'll silence everybody, right? Chick come up here and like, you know, show some love. So anyway, okay, if now's not a good sign, you hit me up later. I got the bees ready, ladies. As far as economic stimulus too, I think uh, for economic stimulus, we need to put women, hot women on a currency instead of dead presidents. You know what I mean? Some hot chicks, some of the most beautiful women are here in this room tonight, you know? You're just, you know, and so the more, the more cleavage, the more skin, the higher the currency. That's what I'm saying, you know? And for some people that are a little uptight about too much skin and everything, we could be conservative and just say, okay, we'll get hot chicks that, uh, oh, shave their eyebrows and draw the liner on, and they can draw it extra high. So they look really excited, and that will increase the value of the currency. I read an article last night, for, for many of you that are performing artists, I was reading this article, it might be interest to you, and they were talking about how to increase your earning potential as a performing artist. And you know the, re the way to do that, and I didn't realize, I got kind of bummed out, you know, the way to increase your earning potential as a performing artist is to die. <laughs> Die. Think about it. The highest, you know, the people that are making money, Jimi Hendrix, now let me go, Elizabeth Taylor, Bob Marley, Bruce Lee, Elvis Presley. You know that you know you know who made the, made the most money last night uh, last uh, year, the entertainer, was Michael Jackson. He made 160 million dollars. Dead! More than, the, more than the living entertainer that made the most money last year. Who made the most money last year in entertainment last year? Madonna. Madonna, $125 million. $125 million Madonna made. Michael Jackson, $160 million. So anyway, you know, maybe I started thinking, maybe, you know, maybe I shouldn't be so depressed. You know, and get uh, try to figure a way to fake my death or something like that, so I can pay the rent. But maybe you know, when I just look in the mirror, I can just say, you know, I never missed what I never had. You know, keep from getting depressed. You know, you're chasing those dollar bills. It may be there, maybe not. But you know, you get there eventually. But will you be above the ground to enjoy it? Well, they're talking about war. You know, they try to drag us, it's kind of like the Godfather. Every time we get peacetime, there's something happens in the world, they want to drag us into a war, right? And we don't want to go. You know, so they act in a fool over there in Ukraine, the Russians and Ukrainians. Anybody here ready to go to war? I didn't think, yeah, we're trying to get, we're trying to get out of that. 
But it's kind of tough when they start reading your hand over there. You know, they start, uh, you know, figuring out. Well, anyway, yesterday there was a phone conversation that they had in the White House, the president with Vladimir Putin, and they said it lasted 90 minutes. And they were taking pictures, and it looked all official and everything. I think it lasted less than 90 seconds, personally. I think it got personal. I think it got personal, and it, had, it ended pretty soon. If I was to kind of recap maybe what they talked about, Vladimir Putin and Barack Obama yesterday on the phone in the West Wing. We're warning you not to take over Ukraine. <laughs> Good idea. We will take over Ukraine and their Navy too. Stop your military aggression because it's the right thing to do. Ukraine is none of your business. In fact, I look better without shirts than you do. Your muscles are flabby. <laughs> I'm say that one. Say it. No, no, no. <laughs> your military is too gay to fight us. We will kick your butts. Screw you. If I see you at the G8 meeting, I'm going to tase you, bro. I'm going to tase you. Dust it on you. Got a new technology out, and uh, if you're like me, I can't afford all the latest gadgets and technology. So I had to go to the Goodwill and. Uh, Anybody heard of Google Glass? It's, a, it's an application that uh, re, uh, reads facial recognition and can tell a lot about a person based on the facial recognition. Google Glass. So I got mine from the Goodwill. And um, I'm going to do uh, maybe a survey of the room a little bit and maybe a person or two at home. I see somebody at home. This dude is a, he's a polygamist that is in, in he's in intensive care because uh, he couldn't handle Valentine's Day. He got overwhelmed. It was more than he could handle. I see you out there, man. Mr. Polygamous. I see a few people here in the audience. They're, uh, they're Blazer fans. When the Blazers win, and they're on the bandwagon. When the Blazers lose, they jump off. I see you. I see, did, the, did the Blazers win tonight? Anybody know? They played the Lakers. See, see, they lost? They don't know. Nobody, nobody cares right now. Only if they win. Let me see. I'm looking. I'm looking. Oh, I see the chick in the audience who didn't shave her legs. But because it's winter time, the Sasquatch look is sexy. It's still sexy. Yeah. That's hot, lady. It's hot. It's hot. We like that. Yes. <laughs> Obviously, a lady who shaved her legs. She doesn't like it. Okay. I also. I see the girl. Oh. I see the woman in the audience. Her boyfriend is a mama's boy. Her boyfriend is a mama's boy. What she doesn't realize that last night at the Oscars. Justin Timberlake, Leonardo DiCaprio, they took their moms on a date with them on the red carpet. Smart man. Motherhood is a powerful thing, ladies. If, you're my, if your boyfriend is a mama boy, look out. Respect the motherhood. This is a woman's history month. Recognize motherhood. Google Glass, let me see. Oh, we got a tree pruner here tonight. A tree pruner. He was 70 feet up in the on a branch. 
He fell down, scrambled his balls on a lower branch. He will be the performer tonight that will be singing soprano. I won't call you out, dude. I won't call you out. Google Glass. Out. Yeah. Oh, I. Oh. Woo. Okay. This. I won't call you out. This. Uh, someone. Actually, a few people. Just quietly, anonymously farted. <laughs> I won't call you out to respect your privacy, but just remember those quiet ones are the most lethal. Look out. I'm David Little. Thank you for listening to Good Foot. You guys are awesome. Yeah, make some noise. Now you can look. Come out. Yeah. We don't want the guy at the front tasing you. Hold the guards. Don't tase nobody else, man. Okay? Cool. Thank you all.